Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. So, you guys are probably wondering, why am I at a playground? Well, it's cause I was actually like exercising, you know, a few pull-ups and they have a track here. But anyways guys, today's video is actually about how much money do I spend on the RCF a year? That means on gas, insurance, and monthly payments. The price might surprise you, by the way. So, yeah. I was not at the spot in which I was going to film. So we are actually gonna go drive over to the spot right now. I like to film in parking lots, you guys feel me? Open that. Uh, code start. Okay. All right, it's not bad. It's clean. Yo, what's up, Kenpachi? ass road so I gotta be careful around here. Alright guys, so we did make it over to the location as you guys can see, right? But we kind of have an issue. Well, sort of. I'm not really doing anything wrong, but there is a there is a cop just sitting right over there. But once again, I'm not really doing anything. I'm just sitting here and filming. So hopefully this video goes well without any issues, right? Without me getting a ticket. And best know I'm gonna keep these windows down for sure. Uh and yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so we are here. So in front of me is my 2015 Lexus RCF. And a lot of people have asked in the comments, how much does this car cost like a year, a month, or pretty much like what are the expenses like on this car? I'm gonna just be going over how much I pay for insurance, how much I pay every month for the car, and how much I pay for gas every, I'll say probably every week or every month. So we all know that in this car is a 5.0 V8. And we also know that V8s typically consume a lot of gas like a lot we also do know that v8s typically don't really have the best miles per gallon but the rcf is pretty special right because in the eco mode like it actually gives you about i believe 23 miles per gallon in eco mode if you're not st stepping on the gas hard right you will probably see that 23 miles per gallon i show no mercy on that gas pedal unfortunately so that pretty much kind of leads to me getting probably like 11 miles per gallon sometimes even less so the question that actually pops up now is right how often do i have to fill this tank up and how much do i fill it up with so in order for us to actually figure that out we actually have to figure out how often do i actually drive this car right so i would say i probably drive this car probably once a week i drive this car once a week because i have another car that i drive every day for work and since I drive this car once a week, that means that I probably don't fill this car as much. When I do fill this car up and when it is at empty, in order to get it to full, I'll say it takes about 60 to $70 of gas to get a full tank in this car. A full tank could probably last you about three days in this car, but depending on how aggressively you drive it, of course. If you're always hammering the gas, then expect the full tank to probably last maybe a day and a half. Yeah, a day and a half. But if you are always driving in eco mode, I'm gonna be honest, the food tank will probably last you a little over a week. It just depends on your style of driving, to be honest. And for me, guys, I would personally say I probably fill this car up at least probably two times a month. So two to three times a month, but mostly two times a month. So that probably means, or that means that every month I spend about $140 gas on this car. Sometimes less because I, I'm not always filling this car up. And as I said, I only drive this car so much. So I'll say maybe like $100 flat on gas on this car. But if you drive this car a lot, if you plan on getting this car as your only car, expect to be spending most likely $200 to $300 of gas. But obviously gas prices on the scene everywhere. So it might vary. So, but it'll be in the hundreds for sure. 
<laughs> all right guys on to the next question how much do i pay monthly for this car and if you guys are wondering why am i sitting in the back seat i got tired of just standing out in the front and i kind of wanted to change the scenery for you guys so we are now in the comfy roomy back seat of the car so how much do i pay monthly for insurance not insurance for the car actually before i had the rcf i've owned a toyota corolla i've owned an is250 and a lexus g um, a lexus g an infinity g37 um and a honda pilot now all of those cars i actually paid for all of them outright so the rcf is actually my first it's actually the first car in my life that i am ever financing it was to build my credit of course right that's what everyone says i put about 15k down and that led to me only having about a 430 monthly payment now i'm not trying to get into the specifics because i am not a financial advisor and i don't want anyone to like try to like copy me in a way and mess themselves up so yeah that's all you have to know that every month i pay 430 dollars for the rcf let's actually just pause real quick and just reflect on the gas price so for gas i believe i said like about 140 a month for me that's like kind of high right because i know that i spend probably a bit less on gas a month now in the past i spent probably like 300 dollars on gas a month it was insane but right now it's probably like 100 to 140 plus the 430 a month for the car payments of course so 430 plus 140 right we all know is 570 did i do that math right 430 plus 140 570 so that pretty much puts us at a 570 monthly payment for the rcf so far on to the next phase of questions right and the next question is what about insurance how much do i pay for insurance on this car i don't really think anyone is going to believe me when i tell them how much, how much i pay to insure this car i will say that i do not pay no more than 100 dollars to insure this car I said what I said, yeah. If you guys are curious to know if I have full coverage, yes, I do have full coverage for the car. And in order for me to get that price, I had to like kind of search around for different insurance companies and just get the right price. So if you do your research, right, and if you search around, you could definitely find a pretty affordable insurance um, policy for the RCF. But of course, guys, you do have to keep in mind that your insurance rate also depends on the place you live. So if you live like in a really, really, really packed city area, then your insurance rate will probably be super high. But if you live in the middle of nowhere, then you probably have a pretty low insurance rate. rate. And also a lot of other things are involved, like how old you are, how much you drive the car. And there's like a lot of factors that also kind of involve with how high or how low you low your insurance rate is so i really can't give you guys a solid number um because like it's not the same right my rate and your rate might be completely different things because i know a lot of people that do have the same car as me right that do live in the same area as me but are not paying the same amount as of insurance as i am and it just all depends on all the factors that you put when you are insuring your car so guys, if we did all the math right, right? And if the math is really math, then that means 570 plus, I'm gonna just say $100, right? Is about 670 a year for the Lexus RCF. Now that doesn't include any maintenance or anything I have to fix. That just simply includes like the payments that I unfortunately have to do on the car. So yeah, guys, that's what you are in for. Most people are not paying this much for the RCF. I feel like a lot of people have slightly higher payments. They slightly pay a bit higher higher when it comes to insurance and they also drive this car a lot more than me i really kind of strategized when i was getting this car and i had yeah and i figured out a way to make it affordable for me if you are in interested in this car i do know that it could be really 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 expensive but if you strategize if you think right then there could be a way and for example guys right a way that i strategized when i got this car was i'm gonna be honest i chose an rcf with about well i chose an rcf with like it didn't have a lot of high miles but it had like about like 80 something thousand miles and it was a 2015 right so 2015s and 2018s are really no different and if you know lexus's are the number one reliable car company so whether or not it had 80k miles right it would have still performed pretty much the same way as another rcf that had 20k miles so you just have to strategize and you just have to do what makes sense for you and that's what made sense for me and also me coming from a series of cars that i used to own that kind of had high miles that actually performed well and a g37 that had low miles and was always in the shop right that kind of convinced me to just 
get the RCF with like 80 something thousand miles. It's kind of starting to rain, so I'm gonna just try to hurry. Oh, it was a nice clouds, but I'm gonna try to hurry it up. But yeah, guys, once again, if you do have any questions, hit me up on IG. So hit me up. I'm friendly, I promise. But yeah, guys, it's getting kind of stormy and the rain is kind of coming. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just head home because, yeah, you know, some tires and water really do not mix together. Yo, there's a Honda behind me that keeps on revving their car like, fam. Leave me alone. All right, I'm gonna leave now. Bro, <laughs> you guys hear it, right? Yeah, that's the car, but all right, guys. Let me get back into the car, and yo, guys, I'm surprised the cops ain't come over to me. That's a shocker. I hope this information was kind of helpful. If it wasn't helpful, comment, <laughs> let me know, hit me up on Instagram, and yeah, then I'll, I will specify. So, yeah, guys, with that being said, Let's head home before I hydroplane. Well, even though it's not really raining that heavy, but before those cops on my left, um, you know, pull up and um, yeah, and give me a ticket because yeah, there's, there's a lot of legal, illegal things in this car. I'm just trying, let's go home. Kinpache! I had to soak my door panels, guys, because obviously there are cops there. And I wasn't trying to give them a reason to pull me over. Pretty much just had my um, windows all the way open and rain poured. Yeah, so, but I closed them down because the cops are not behind me anymore. So yeah, I had to take that out real quick. If it ever rains, right? Does anyone else like activate snow mode, you know, and activate eco mode and feel safe afterwards? <laughs> For me, it depends if it's like pouring. If it's like pouring, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm driving like two miles per hour, eco mode, snow mode is on, and yeah, but if it's like sprinkling like this, nah, it's, it's all right. I think my summer tires could do, I think. Is that raining? It's, what the, bro, it's me, bro, it's what? It's me, almost hit me, but anyways, the thing, guys, right, is that it's supposed to rain today, tomorrow, Monday, I think Tuesday, yeah. Bro, I think it's like hurricane season or something. Pool? Pool in the rain? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. NYC views. It's a whole scrapyard. Well, I mean, over here is a scrapyard. NYC views. This is where all stolen Q60s go. <laughs> and probably all stolen RCFs. It just all ends up right here. That's crazy. Uh, over here, we turn a rainy day into a sunny day. So, guys, here goes a rainy day. That's a clean and whoa, that's a clean ass Volkswagen, I think. Oh, is that a Buick? Wait, wait bro, oh, this, man, this man's drifting. Bro, I was just about to do a rainy POV, but bro, if you, bro, if you are trying to provide entertainment, you feel me? I'm not stopping you. Go, 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 go. I mean, go. Go, go. Pull it again. Yo, this man drifted, what? Nah, that's crazy. Nah, I mean, I gotta keep up with him somehow. Uh, he's going over the bad roads. Nah, see, I'm about that low life. Nah, we good, we good. What is that car? I think it's a Pontiac? I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, yeah. A rainy POV. Oi, oi, oi. Bad road, bad road. Ugh. Oh, man. These roads are terrible. NYC. What? She. <laughs> Yo, guys, fun fact. I am in love with Supras also. She looks fire. But, man. All right, but let me get behind this guy no homo though what is this car because i can't figure it out it's a v8 because i could hear it but what is it i think it's a is, is it a pontiac i don't know it gotta be stumped though it sounds good too 